r slash r credit by Robertainment. To those that live in Italy, how is the situation right now with coronavirus and lockdown? Currently watching a university lesson from my bed, but my father went to work this morning. I'm in a region where the lockdown started officially today, so it's all pretty new. Let's hope people don't storm the grocery stores. Edit. Since a lot of people are mentioning it there no news about shortage of toilet paper. And, at least in my area, no assault on grocery stores. Edit 2. We can get out of our houses. We are asked to do so, just for necessity like buying groceries. We have to have a good reason, if we want to leave our town. Edit 3. Since people suggested me to do and ask me anything after all the question I'm receiving here you go. www.reddit.com link. Are banks closed? High school student here. Schools are simply closed, and the TV is full of ads about washing your hands and avoid contact with other people. Edit. I forgot to say that each morning we have approximately 3 hours of video lessons from our laptop. Sounds fucking lit. Edit. Thank you for all the upvotes. D. Basic Italian uni student with bad English here. Basically in the past we used to cough to cover up a fart. Nowadays we fart to cover up a cough. I'm a nurse student in Italy. Right now I can't go to the university. I can't go to work. We shouldn't go out. Unless it's a necessity. So basically we need to stay home and finally finish our Netflix list. It may sound pretty cool for the first few days. But after a while it gets pretty depressing and boring. I got so bored. That I cleaned everything at home. Sounds familiar to me. I'm in China and I've been stuck in my apartment for nearly 2 months. I can get food delivered, and go to the convenience store to buy other things, but nearly everything is closed other than supermarkets and pharmacies. It was, as you said, pretty cool for the first few days, now it's just terrible, although it is slowly getting better again. I hope things get better for you, and the rest of Italy soon, but I'm afraid this is probably just the beginning. I finally have time to mod Skyrim. There will likely be a baby boom in 9 months. Efficient virus, kill the old, spawn the new young. Dad, where do babies come from? Well son, when two people love each other very much are forced to stay home because of a deadly airborne contagion. I have a daughter living in Serrano, but she works in Milano. She is housebound, on lockdown. Her courses are being done via Skype. Her employer has asked her not to come to work. She is not allowed to leave her house, unless it is an emergency which I hope never happens. She says there has been quite a bit of panic buying at the supermarkets. All the restaurants are pretty much empty, however they are allowed to be open between 6am and 6pm people who are seated, should have at least a 1 meter distance between them at restaurants. Tourist areas Egduomo in Milano are devoid of almost anybody. All school and universities remain close. All sporting or any kind of events have been suspended. Ski resorts are closed. The same for cinemas, theaters, discos. All church services have been suspended. Whilst the measures may seem extreme, Italy has been the hardest hit worldwide besides for China. So it's necessary to curb travel and cultural activities to stop the spread of the virus. I'm a university student, and since last week we have been doing lessons via Microsoft Teams or Google Classrooms. I don't really like these methods, but it's the only alternative, so. There's a fair amount of psychosis between a big chunk of the population. Supermarkets have been raided overnight. We are advised to not leave our houses unless it's necessary, but you can fill a form on your own to certify that you need to go to work. So basically everyone is running around without a real examination of that form, because literally anyone can do that. The only thing that has been really impacted by this is nightlife and sports, since every league of every sport is suspended until April, and hashtag x200b, edit, typus. I'm a final year medic, and I'm graduating on Thursday over Skype. Sorry for asking a question here as I'm not exactly answering yours original poster. Are tourists allowed to fly out of Italy, or are they supposed to stay in Italy until the lockdown is over? Edit. U slash pinecone underscore slow thanks for the award. Thanks everyone else for your comments. I asked this question because a colleague of mine flew in on Sunday with their family to northwest Italy for a week long skiing holiday. They didn't want to lose the money so they went. I have been made aware that they are being sent back today itself, 
and the rest of their trip was refunded. They are going to self-isolate for two weeks, but I do agree with the ones who mentioned about infecting others on their way home from the airport. Tourists can fly in and out freely. For a couch potato like me it's awesome. I can watch my uni lessons online, and in my free time, play a fuck ton of video games or work out a little bit. Also I think we are allowed to leave and get some fresh air. So except for the deadly virus thing everything is okay. I live in Hong Kong, so we had protests and the virus back to back, my university has been closed since mid-November. Sounds like hell to some people, but I'm really enjoying it. I'm Italian but live abroad. Currently my brother is in one of the high risk zone in the north. He works at the university as a researcher, today he went to work, and the laboratory was empty. Starting from tomorrow the uni told him to stay at home, and that the structure will be temporarily closed. He was planning an exchange with a laboratory in Ireland for April, but I think it's cancelled. He's worried of course and a bit bored too, but he understands that the situation is critical, and that we have to give our contribution to avoid the spreading. My cousin is in Polona where the situation is surreal. According to him, no one is on the streets and though the supermarket got assaulted multiple times from people concerning that they would have run out of food which is not going to happen. Since supplies are guaranteed, my parents live in a small city in the south where only 4 cases were registered in the entire region so far, so they are not much concerned, but they are taking precautions if the situation will get worse, and they are trying to stay at home when possible. Luckily their jobs are not at risk, because my mother works in public administration and my father can work on remote, I live in Germany instead. Yesterday I went to a pharmacy and I could get a couple of face masks just in case. The ladies there understood from my accent I wasn't German, so they asked me where I was coming from. As soon as I said I was Italian they jumped away. I felt like I needed to specify I was living here, and had no contact with Italy since December. That felt bad. Well now you know what it's like to be Asian. People just freaking out when they see someone Asian. Right now I'm in my office in Tuscany, 20 miles away from my home. This morning at 7am we hadn't any problem moving around, but I don't know how things will evolve outside my workplace. There are a lot of different informations about what you can and what you can't do from all the media, so I'm here hoping to not getting sick and still be capable at least to move to home tonight and maybe came back to work in the next days. Some say life goes on like always, others say everything is compromised. I'm just here, waiting for things to develop. I have friends in northern Italy quarantined in their homes, my mum in hospital working with face masks, and generally people freaking out. They say grocery shopping will be guaranteed, so overall I'm not even worried about it. Maybe is a chance to have some days off and enjoy my home and some games. Unrequested update is 6 p.m. While working we got a document to show to police officers if we get stopped while going from a commune something like US municipalities to another. In this document we declare who we are and why we aren't in our home. You can move by car slash bike slash whatever if you have to meet your family older people who need care, children and so on, or go to work. Every other reason is forbidden. Right now you still can go around the commune where you live without almost any problem you only have to keep distance from people around you. Traffic is quite low compared to last week for example, but people still do their things. A lot of non-fundamental services are closed, but you can still go to a pharmacy, hospital, gas stations and big workplaces like industries. Social life is paused, almost everything else is still active in my life. We never lock down in Seoul, Korea, I think because every COVID-19 related workers doing their job greatly. We live daily life as usual point mostly, the evident difference is that the companies, some industries are under serious stressful circumstances in financial, due to everything has postponed, or cancelled slash, or manufacturing delay a lot of supplies were supposed to import from China, some major corporations were ordered their employees to work from their home for a few weeks as precaution. During that period, there were no traffic in the city. It was weird. I've been locked in my house with my two sisters and my mother for two weeks, and I still have a month ahead of me. PLS send help. Edit. To be clear I was joking. Imperfectly fine. The situation is not that bad. We can go out to buy groceries or to work. 
the big problems are that some people are losing their jobs and how the economy will be affected now and in the aftermath. I'm a doctor who works at one of the largest hospitals in Rome. The situation seems much worse than reported in the news. We are scared, but we continue to go to work for a sense of responsibility by turning. We do not have suitable safeguards for our protection, such as FFP3 masks. Why did it get so bad in Italy, anyway? It seems so disproportionate and random that Italy of all places got slammed by this disease. A few factors were against Italy that made it such a hotbed. Point 1. It is a massive tourist destination. Italy has one of the largest tourist industries in the world, ranked 5 by number of visits in 2018. It attracts food tourists, its wine regions are popular, it has stunning beaches, and then we have the cultural aspect, whether that's the Roman ruins or medieval or renaissance architecture. This means that Italy was pretty much sure of getting some people who were infected. Point 2. Once the infection started, Italy has another key factor. It has one of the oldest populations on earth. Fifth third if we don't count tiny places like Monaco or St. Michelin. This means that it is extremely sensitive to an infection that disproportionately affects the elderly. For a benchmark, the median age in Italy is 7 years older than the US. As such, the amount of people who will die slash require medical attention for this disease is higher. Point 3. Italy's response following initial infection was one of the most comprehensive and aggressive of any nation outside of Asia, if not the most. This means massive amounts of testing. As such, the numbers are a relatively accurate representation of the actual rate of sickness in the country. Places like the US could very well have as many, if not more, people currently ill with coronavirus. But no one knows. Some countries seem to be applying a strategy that I'd call la 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 I can't hear you la 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 which is extremely effective at keeping the reported number of confirmed cases down, but doesn't necessarily do much to deal with the actual number of people infected. So we know why it was extremely likely that Italy would get caught up in this. We know why it is having such a drastic impact on Italy and its health services. And we know why Italy's numbers are so high. I live in neighboring Switzerland, and the approach seems to be see no coronavirus, hear no coronavirus. This country's approach is, basically, point one. If you have any symptoms, self-quarantine. This is silly, because it expects people to act rationally, and most people are either in the oh my god we are all going to die, camp or in the a, it's nothing, I don't care camp. The latter group is particularly worrisome, because they would be the group that would tend to continue to go to work, go into public spaces, despite coughing, having a fever, etc. Point 2. If you're not in an at-risk group, I point e over 60 or suffering from pre-existing medical conditions, don't go to the hospital if you have symptoms. Call the state medical department and self-quarantine. No one is imposing anything on anyone. So if I start to fall ill, I could spend my day in a shop, coughing on things and people, and that would be fine. Point 3. The goal of the government is not to stop infections, but slow down the rate, so that it doesn't overwhelm the health system. It's not a so good. I hate and love this. Since yesterday night, every town is locked down. I cannot move 5 kilometers without a proper reason work, or a relative very sick, and so on otherwise I could get arrested. The government, immediately backed up by lots of celebrities, is basically saying please, stay home. Our emergency departments in the hospitals are collapsing. Literally, chemists or surgeries that are not urgent are being delayed. How's a chemo not urgent? Bars and restaurants can only open from 6am to 6pm. It's been over a month that places where big number of people could meet have been closed discos, sports centers, clubs, schools, and universities. It's crazy. How's a chemo not urgent? It is not urgent as in you have to do it within weeks, not minutes slash hours. In medicine a procedure you can schedule at a convenient time is generally not called urgent. Reattaching a severed hand is urgent, as the chance the hand survives decreases by the minute slash hour. Performing a cardiac bypass operation, although more important may be for the survival of the individual is not urgent, because you don't have to do it now, but you can do it next week, when you have a free time slot. I'm 14, 
and live in Italy, it's not bad, I don't have to go to school, but I still have to do homework, but it's not too much, we will have virtual lesson this week, I have finally time to read Plato's Republic, and I can finally get better at doing the Rubik's Cube, I have a lot of free time, so I joined the Kanlanging Discord to learn something new, this will last until the 3rd of April, and I'm really happy about it. I can finally get better at doing the Rubik's Cube. This is the most wholesome thing I've read in a while. You sound like a good kid. South Italy here. I'm waiting for the virus to spread as in northern Italy, if not worse. A lot of idiots rushed south to their mommy after the government declared the region of Lombardy a red zone. And here the people seems to not understand the situation. Yesterday morning there were a lot of people strolling around not caring about what's happening. Yesterday night the prime minister declared all Italy red zone. And a lot of people rushed to 24 slash 7 stores to buy food. I decided to stay at home for at least a week. But my parents and the parents of my friends are going around the city like it's not their problem. There will be another infection peak here in the southern Italy in a few days. We have an hashtag running on Twitter, hashtag Iostoacusa it basically means I stay home. People only travel alone and maintain a 1 meter safe distance. We have to change life habits drastically for 2 weeks, to keep the virus from spreading. It worked in Wuhan, we hope it works here as well. A girl finally said yes to me for a first date, a day before the lockdown. She lives in another region so, press F. I'm a student who lives in Emilia Romana. Schools have been closed for 3 weeks, there is no one hanging out, everyone is cooped up in their houses. NGL, this looks like a post-apocalyptic scenario. People are starting to have relatives with the virus my aunt, for example, has the virus, in every town there are a few infected. We can't move from a town to another, unless we have a specific permission for example, we can if we have to go to work. Every day we use Google Meet to make online video calls with our teachers and classmates, so we keep studying and doing our programs, even if we are closed in our houses. Many people are terrified, while many are chilling way too much, especially in the southern regions, because the virus has just started spreading there, while here in the northern regions there are already thousands of infected. Sorry for my bad English, I hope this comment answered your questions. Your English is great. Thank you for sharing your story. I hope this will ends for you soon as we brace here in America for the same scenario to happen here. I'm in the Florence airport right now trying to get back home to the US. I've been living here for 6.5 months studying abroad. I was supposed to stay till June, but my study abroad program got suspended, and my student visa shortened. It's insane right now. And that's a massive understatement. I couldn't make it to the airport in time, cause Florence is in lockdown as of last night. No one is allowed to leave home, except to go to work. So you can imagine how difficult finding a taxi was. I missed my flight, and spent 4 hours on the phone with United FM trying to get my flight rescheduled for the third time. Us study abroad students have been living at the edge of our seats. One ML from the Italian gov suddenly changes everything. It has been a really stressful chaotic emotional couple weeks for both myself and my friends. Honestly, I just broke down in the airport, because I was so frustrated, and I was definitely not the only one crying. Edits. Grandma. Edit 2. No, I don't have any covered symptoms. Yes, of course I'm quarantining myself for 2 weeks, as soon as I land in the US just in case I catch anything from someone on the plane. I appreciate the kind words. Keep them coming. I don't appreciate people telling me I should have left sooner, or should stay in Italy. Neither were at all possible in my situation. Edit 3. Made it home safe. Stay healthy everyone. It's pretty shit actually. I'm sophomore and I feel like it will be really hard to catch up, because we will have barely a month of actual school left. Moreover, the lockdown is causing severe economical issues, especially to those who own small businesses such as restaurants, clothing stores ECT. A lot of these activities will go bankrupt, because they have close to no customers. However, I think the only thing we can do, is contain the infection. So the lockdown is necessary. This will be the biggest problem of the aftermath of COVID-19. The macro and micro economy will be a fucking mess. It already began the down spiral. I basically live in the epicenter of the outbreak of coronavirus here in Italy. 
Things are difficult for me, because I'm far from my parents like one hour drive, they are in their 70s, and I'm stuck, because I don't wanna go home, since I'm scared I could possibly infect them, but at the same time I wanna help them with groceries and stuff. I'm currently working from home, and going out only once a week to do grocery shopping. To move between different towns we need a document attesting that we are either going home, work or it's an emergency. The hardest part is hearing the daily update of the number of deaths and sick people. Every day we are told that hospitals cannot accept people anymore. All the hospitals here in the Lombardy region are saturated. Nurses and doctors are falling sick too. If you need to go to an emergency room, even if it is not for the coronavirus. They cannot help you and this feeling is devastating. Moreover there are no masks around. It's impossible to find them. And hospitals are finishing them too. Waking up every day to this is hard. But I'm still hopeful that this thing will end soon. Al Dent. Basically, for the first time in history, I can save my life and potentially someone else's too by being a piece of shit laying on the couch all day watching Netflix and playing video games. Our area is in lockdown since Sunday. Life is still quite normal here, except for the lines at the grocery stores. We need a paper. In order to travel from a city to another, you can travel for emergencies and for work. Got some extra food just in case. Get ready fellow European Redditors. This is not a joke. Someone from Italy went to Malta carrying the virus. Malta is that dot of land you see beneath Italy. Schools weren't stopped yet though they should be, and Malta only has 12 beds ready for the virus, and I'm worried it's too little. The press considers Milan a red zone, and were preparing for shutdown, but it got leaked before actually being signed. So now a lot of people from the northern parts are fleeing to the southern parts, where many have homes in the countryside. I'm not trying to be judgmental, but it is a lot more likely for them to have the virus, and considering how it may take up to two weeks for the symptoms to show, we do not know if they are actually ill. We are fucked. Also our teacher got kicked from the Google Meet due to a lag buffer, and we've just been shit posting. Had to go to work this morning in a desert city. Felt post-apocalyptic in every means empty stations. Recorded warnings about the situation. ETC and despite wanting to rush thing at work. To go back home I can't really get the right amount of concentration. Everything is in lockdown. You can't move without a valid reason. This wouldn't have happened. If it weren't for all those stupid people who kept traveling. Even though they were explicitly told not to. There are many infections caused by this. Literally, sick people escaped from quarantine to go back to their native town. Also, the other day, as soon as the first red zones no traveling from slash to those zones were announced, the train stations of those zones were full of people running away. It's surreal how stupid people can be. Same thing happened in Wuhan. As soon as people got wind of mandatory quarantine of the city, a bunch of people fled, spreading the virus even more. It's fucking outrageous. I'm crying right now while I'm typing these words. I'm 19. I study at a university and both my mother and my father divorced, have lost their job for at least the next month. It's already really hard normally. Right now the situation is terrible. This morning I've spent hours looking for good websites where to sell our paintings and everything that allow us to continue living. Even before this whole thing started I was looking for a job to get some money while studying so to help my family, but right now I can't even go to an interview, because movements are allowed only for working, if you already have a job and health issues. I live in the region where this whole thing started in Italy, yesterday night our government has extended our rules to all regions of Italy, so this means that the number of people living my situation has only increased. I never imagined I would ever live this nightmare. I'm self-employed, I'm working as normal, but I advise my clients not to come by, unless it's truly urgent. I'm asking my secretary, to take a paid leave until the end of the month, because I don't really need her around, since many colleagues are not working much right now, all bars are closed restaurants too I guess, but I wouldn't know, because I have a newborn and my life has been just work home for the past 2 months anyways, we avoid shaking hand, and coming too close to other people. Wash our hands religiously, and change clothes, as soon as I get home. 
I avoid taking the elevator as much as possible. All in all, life is going on mostly as it was before, but there's very few people around. I'm mostly worried about my father, since he's close to 80, and he insists on working. I hope this goes away soon. Edit. To clarify, I bike to work. Do not take transportations. I don't need to see or talk to anyone. The only people I get close to are my wife and child who do not leave the house. Italian here. I'm in high schooler and we are now attending online lessons. Since yesterday evening, all Italy is in quarantine. I'm a high school student in Treviso, one of the biggest cities by number of infects, and right now it has become red zone. At first it was super fun because, yeah no, school closed, less homework, online lessons done by teachers in pyjamas, and listened to by students in pyjamas. But currently it's becoming also damn shitty, people are getting over paranoid especially adults and overall older people. We are locked down in our province and people are getting fined, just because they are getting out of their homes. Nobody talks about anything else. I can't see my friends anymore. My dad went skiing, and is afraid to return to Treviso and overall social interaction is dead. There is nothing to do, young Linz are getting more and more bored, and elders are getting more and more paranoid. Good thing there are a lot of ways to be entertained nowadays, because it is a really shitty situation. Late so nobody will read this but, TLDR, it's not a quarantine. Nobody is being forced to stay at home. Everything that has been asked, is don't move for futile reasons, like I'm home from school, hotels are cheap now so let's go on a trip, you can move for work, for emergencies, for health reasons, you can go shopping to supermarket, you can visit your parents, if you need to, you just need to have a printed and compiled paper with you with your reasons for moving. It is not a real lockdown like in China, yet, some people are scared, but most just plainly don't care. You still see one mask every 50 to 100 people, at best. Nobody wants to stay put at home, not even for an evening. People just don't care. Most of the few who are starting to care, are literally assaulting markets and pharmacies, and are creating a whole new problem. Hospital situation is brutal in some cities, mostly at the north. Other regions are starting to have the first cases only now. It will not resolve itself. Until the entire health system start really collapsing. For political reasons our government will not force, really force, people home. Only after that, maybe, things will get better. Expected a lot more cases in the next days, also nobody is talking about prison riots demanding amnesty, or the first 50 plus prisoners that evaded yesterday. We don't have the necessary military and police, nor they have enough legal power, to stop these events from happening. Italian dentist here. The situation is under control. The lockdown was made, because people started going on vacation or in pubs, cities etc are ignoring many common sense rules. Many are worried by the economic repercussions of this lockdown, I'll have to close my activity for basically a month, and that's gonna suck. If the government does not help us, by stopping taxation for a while we might be in deep trouble, financially speaking. The virus itself concerns people, because of the strain on the national sanitary system. For people not familiar with Italy's system, we have universal health care for everyone, rich or poor, and the intensive care units are almost full. Natural disaster trage is taking place in many hospitals. Hope this will be over soon. I'm in a small town near Pisa. This was not one of the high risk regions. Starting today I'm working from home I'm a computer scientist and this is going to go on for a few weeks apparently. My girlfriend just came back from a long walk with the dog alongside the river and had no problems. She is an elementary teacher and schools are closed, so she spends a few hours a day creating content and homework that the kids will be able to do on their own. I have a visit to the dentist, scheduled for 12 today, and they sent me a paper that says I'm actually going to the dentist just in case police stops me. No panic here. I'm sure working from home will become a new practice in my company once all this is over if we see it works well. A question. How is the food situation handled? Can you go to the supermarket? Did you have to get supplies beforehand? Yes you can go to the supermarket. There's some documents people are supposed to print and fill out in order to justify their movements work, emergencies, or necessities. People are starting to stock up on things quite a bit too. 
could be worse in my region, Sardinia. There aren't any officially confirmed cases in my town, but I still am not gonna risk it. The only shitty thing is that yesterday RPM forbid every type of crowding indoors and outdoors I don't know if that's the right word and strongly advise not to leave our houses unless it's a necessity. And today it's my birthday lol. Boo and complino, dear internet stranger. I know a family that is stuck in northern Italy, they can't get out of the city no matter what. It's their fault though, they were stubborn and thought the corona outbreak would allow them to save some money, but now they can't come back shaking my head. Finally something I can answer to, I'm a student in a classic high school and I feel kinda left out. We've been at home for like 3 weeks and now we are staying at home until April. We started to make video conferences with our teachers and honestly it's so much better than going to school like usual. The fact is, the teachers prefer, of course to teach older students seniors in the 19 year old category, so our work is reduced, I guess, aside school, people are all basically locked up in their houses, waiting for the virus to disappear, young people tend to meet, but I think that from now on they'll stay in as much as the adults, all sports activities with the public competitions and games are forbidden, the queues for literally everything are so long, Stuff like this, everything will turn out for the better, we just have to wait, and don't lose hope. Meanwhile, I speak for the other countries, Italy was and still is a beautiful country to visit, the virus is just an unexpected event, that happened to us Italians. When the emergency will be over, I strongly suggest to come here, and enjoy our state as much as I do. P.S. I tried my best to express myself in English, I'm so sorry, if I made any mistakes. Then you have Australia stockpiling on toilet paper, in my local store just 5 minutes from me there were lines out of the door and people just waiting, every time they'd replenish the shelf, 2 minutes in over 300 rolls gone, everybody scared shitless here. Live in Italy, it's the same as usual. The real kick in the teeth is not producing anything economically for the next month, and watching people starve, since they can't open their business. The virus is bad, but I think the long term economic side effects will be far worse. But it is what it is. Hi from Abrazo. Home with a 4 year old whose school has been closed for a week and a newborn. My partner does go out, to work in the office. He shares it with one other person. We found out we're, not in the worst place for a lockdown, in terms of going outside. We live in the middle of a national park, so we can go out in many different places without meeting anyone. I just made a plan with my son for things to do, and learn the next couple of weeks, like riding a bike, reading, learning to dress himself. He seems to not mind the not going to school part. He's just a bit sad, that he can't meet other kids. Yesterday they were playing outside, but you could tell something had changed, even before the government announced lockdown in our part of the country. At least things are more clear now. People were still meeting, but not really sure about it. Now they have clear guidelines. I'm worried, but now mostly for my family in the Netherlands, where the virus has just began to spread. They are downplaying the situation there. My father literally said well I have to die of something. No. Map. In the past days we've had some regions locked. Now the whole country had to use more precautions, because we need to delay the epidemic peak as much as possible. Many people are still fucking dumb, going to parties etc, but the most of us understood how critical it is to follow the rules. Personally, my life hasn't changed much, since I'm a med student who mainly stays at home studying. I can't, of course, see my girlfriend, I can't go out in the weekend, but I'm not doing this just for me. Also, there's a silver lining emo, old school teachers are modernizing, and students will benefit from this in the long run. Many people are starting to understand how important it is to wash their hands. You get to clean up your Facebook friends list, just by reading what they share. It's been 15 days. Since I last left the house, the teachers are sending us homework, I still have to study equals. Let me tell you how it is really going, we are in a fucking shithole. I'm currently quarantined in my apartment in Brescia, right in the middle of where it all started close to Milan. Yesterday our government declared red zone for the whole country, meaning no moving inside the country without a written permission, pretty much everything soon to be shut down except primary necessities, the same night hordes of people rushed 24 7 markets, ignoring the most important rule. 
and hashtag X200B. The thing is, the real virus in Italy right now is goddamn ignorance. People are not grasping the emergency. We basically don't have healthcare right now because of hospitals that are full already. And people here think they are in a fucking vacation. Meanwhile I'm here scared to even see and meet my parents that live 30 minute car from me because of this virus. Companies are going down. We are taking a huge hit in any aspect and the same is happening around us in Europe. Southern Italy has yet to understand the situation. In fact they even were making joke of us northerns. Until the other day when some of them rushed to the south scared of the lockdown. OFC bringing with them the virus two days later the whole country went red zone. The thing is we are locked down. But we have to enforce it with the army or many won't even care. Because they still think it's a fever. Especially in the south. That will probably collapse. Because the south has a lot less infrastructures especially in the medical field. And hashtag X200B. And many of them think that this will end in a month. Not gonna happen. Unless we cooperate for real though. I have a feeling that out of quarantine babies will be made in Italy. Nothing to do but eat. Watch Netflix and have sex repeatedly 24 slash 7. My grandma is super depressed BC she can't go to church. I live and work in the Milan area. Since my job can be done remotely, I'm enforced smart working. So just do my normal job from home. There are orders from the government to avoid going out of the house for anything that is not essential like emergencies and groceries. All social gatherings are cancelled until April the 3rd. So no gyms, no parties, no weddings, no funerals, etc. When going into public buildings like supermarkets we should wear masks, keep 1.5 meter distance, and only few people at the time are admitted. Not every job can be done remotely, so there are still people going to their workplace, but given that most of the people is not, public transportation is almost empty. Airlines are cancelling flights, since many people are not going, and for sure they are not buying new tickets. Since the extension to the whole Lombardia of the red zone in theory, is a no in, no out zone, has been leaked last weekend, many irresponsible, I would say people escaped by train to their families slash parents south. I heard that they will be quarantines, I hope that they are actually doing that. Okay, I live in Venice and my father is a doctor at Venice Hospital, so I have a very general idea of what is going on doubt anybody really know what to do actually. Point 1 Italy has a large number of positive patients because of the heavy testing approach used in the first days of the outbreak. The more you test, the more you find. This is controversial because no hospital was prepared for this massive number of people to be hospitalized, so they quickly run out of masks, hand sanitizer and life support equipment. Point 2 Our media are shit. They have spread panic since day one which resulted in empty supermarkets and people with a lot of pasta and water bottles no I'm not joking. Few days later everyone is saying that there is no emergency pushing everybody to go out and have fun x. San Marco Square organized an event with hundreds of people that attended it spreading the virus even more. Pick a side goddamn. Point 3 for a good week in the hospitals nobody had any idea of how to behave since there weren't clear indications from the government. Now there are more serious protocols which consists in testing every people with symptoms and only the closest family members at first we almost run out of testing kits. Point for the reasons of this major lockdown which is nowhere near what China did, you can still go out. Nobody is stopping you is that there aren't enough bed in intensive care units. In Lombardia they already started doing tridge because they don't have enough mechanical ventilators. Yet people don't understand that this is the problem. We don't have to stay at home because the virus is particularly dangerous. We have to stay at home and avoid contact because there are not resources for everybody. However a lot of people, in particular young people are taking this like a holiday and keeps going out example. Beaches were full of people Saturday because was a sunny day. I live in the Veneto region. The situation here is very critical. The number of infections rises hour by hour as well as that of the dead. Hospitals are full. There is no more space. Doctors and nurses make long and exhausting shifts. All hospital wards have been converted to deal with the COVID-19 emergency. All possible health professionals have been recalled from retirement. There are no more masks. The countries of the European Union, which has very little of union, have blocked the export of sanitary material to Italy, 
The only country that came to our rescue was China. Life is hard. You only go out for issues of necessity such as food, work or medical urgency. Every day is a war bulletin. COVID-19 is not a simple flu. For the elderly immunosuppressed people and all those with pre-existing diseases such as cancer, HIV, asthma, etc. can be lethal. For others the symptoms are very high fever, excruciating muscle pain, dry cough and severe sore throat. The duration is several days compared to a normal flu. Personally the men in my family are all at risk. My three older brothers suffer from asthma and my younger brother is HIV positive. My father is old and with a poor health. Schools and universities are closed, such as pubs, restaurants, shops etc. Nobody can go out. We organize flash mobs on the balconies every day. We sing our national anthem and other songs that have made the history of Italy. We filled Instagram with memes. We entertain ourselves in this way to try to survive this situation. I conclude with a thought, which I hope will make you think. My people are full of flaws, full of stereotypes. Poor and with questionable governments, but while other countries wait for the aberrant herd immunity, that is to sacrifice the weakest to save the stronger, in my country the strongest are fighting with every possible means to save the weakest. Every single one of them. We will come out on our knees and injured, but we will go out with our heads held high because we Italians have put people in front of economic interests. This is my people, my country, my Italy, sorry for my bad English. I'm from Milan. I'm stuck at home with two brothers and my dad who is working from home for like two weeks. Most of the time I have to attend online lessons from my uni. Yesterday a police car drove through the neighborhood with a megaphone warning citizens to stay home, unless for emergency situation. It felt like we were in some sort of stereotypical post-apocalyptic movie. As a student not too bad, we have right now online lessons both in my university and in my local high school, and with a bit of caution everything is fine. A lot of Italians just went crazy last night and bought a lot of stuff from the supermarkets, but again it's not the end of the world or a walking dead scenario. Ignorance will do more damage than the coronavirus. I'm a music student at a conservatory and have been on lockdown since Thursday, only went to the dentist and bought some groceries on Friday and that's it. It's mentally tossing so far because we have no idea how to keep an appearance of normality in our field. All concerts were cancelled and projects are being stalled. It is impossible to do musical lessons from afar due to the delay the internet gives and also because music is also created by the ensemble and there is no ensemble being so far apart. I should work on my final essay, but the feeling of uncertainty on when everything will come back working as normal is taking its toll and I'm just wasting time. I'm probably sounding very dramatic on this comment. I'm usually the first to say that things will get better soon. As soon as the weather gets warmer and people will have stayed home for a while, but I find no strength to focus on anything. TLTR, it's like time has stopped, but it hasn't stopped, and we should focus on keeping our normal routine, but it can't be done. Edit, my teachers just sent me some chores. I'm to read and record older new pieces and send them over, either by singing or playing over one of the teachers recording. I'm a classical singer by the way. For all musicians, you guys know this is gonna be very poor, since the quality is the one of a phone microphone but hey, I appreciate them trying. It just feels really weird and pretty sad. Like and subscribe for good luck, you handsome gentlemen.